Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys my top 10 dossier unisex fragrances. There is a lot of debate about calling fragrances unisex. I do believe that anybody could wear men and women can choose whatever fragrance they want. Women can wear men fragrances and men can wear women fragrances. I am just gonna share you guys the fragrances from dossier that I think are unisex. So everybody can use them. Number one on my list is Ambery Saffron. This one is inspired by my son Francis Kirk John. Baccarat Rouge 540. Probably everybody knows how this one smells like. It's delicious. This one is a masterpiece. Top notes, Saffron Orange Blossom. Middle notes, Jasmine, Plum, Cedar Wood. And base note is Oak Moss, Fire Balsam, and Amber. I have the original. This is spot on. I'm not kidding and I'm not lying. Somebody actually accused me for lying about this why would I do that maybe you got a bad batch I got the spot on batch ambery saffron has its sweetness also it has the spicy but not spicy spicy it's not hot spicy this is a very famous fragrance I love this so much it's my number one if you're gonna try dossier I recommend ambery saffron in your first order next number two oriental cherry is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Top notes is cherry, almond, cinnamon. Middle notes, cloves, rose, jasmine, plum. And base note is Peru balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. This is delicious. Mm. They said it's leaning towards more feminine. I actually think it's very sexy for a man to use this. It's delicious. It's It has its own sweetness from the vanilla, also tonka bean. The cherry is phenomenal. This is spot on Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I have the original too. I already compared them. What's good about Dossier is if you don't like it, you can return it. They have a good return policy. I believe that they donate. They don't throw it away. They donate to shelters i think that's pretty nice pretty nice of them okay number three number three is super yum this one is woody sandalwood woody sandalwood is inspired by lila bo santa 33 they said harry styles where lila bo santa 33 that's sexy it is sexy. It is very unisex, very woody. I love sandal wood, santal. This is more on creamy sandal wood, which is my favorite. Top notes are violet leaves, cardamom, oris, ambrox, cedar wood, zipper oil. Base notes, musk, sandal wood, and amber. I am not a big fan of cardamom, but in this perfume, it's well done. It's really good. I think that Dossier did a really good job with this one. I don't own the Lila Bo Santal 33. I do have a sample. The opening and the dry down are very spot on. Lila Bo Santal 33, Woody Sandalwood. All right, number four is Woody Rum. This is inspired by Killian Straight to Heaven. I really love Killian House. Killian is such a good gourmand fragrance house. Mm. Straight to Heaven. Straight to Heaven is so delicious. A lot of men use this, but I think it's very unisex for my taste. I would wear this and Killian Love. I would mix them, which is really nice. Killian is such a good house, gourmand house. They make the best gourmand fragrances. I love that Dossier made an inspired fragrance from Killian House. Top notes for this is rum, dry fruits, nutmeg. Middle notes is jasmine, cedar, wood, and vanilla. Base notes is patchouli, amber, and sandalwood. I don't like patchouli at all but in this fragrance it's a good mix that's the thing about Kilian it's very smooth you can't really tell all notes you're smelling it's just a nice blend I think that Dossier captured that this is number four woody rum number five I'm going with citrus tea citrus tea is inspired by Lela Boni or 29 top notes bergamot fig black tea middle notes bay leaf tobacco jasmine vetiver and base notes is cedar wood, musk, hay, peach, and incense. I love tea notes. This one is delicious. Like, is there oak moss here? The opening is very citrus from the bergamot. Right away, I could detect the bergamot and the black tea with a little bit of the fig, green fig. And then the middle notes is bay leaf. 
I can smell the bay leaf. I did not smell the jasmine, cedar wood, hay, a little bit of the peach, sweet, something sweet there. I love Nior 29. Nior 29 is a very green mountain kind of fragrance. I can see like a lot of green, fresh water, like stream from the mountain, something like that. Like a lot of leaves falling. It's a nice fall fragrance. Number seven, I'm going for musky green tea musky green tea is inspired by creed silver mountain water citrus tea le labo newer 29 these two gives me the same vibe musky green tea it's really good oh, it's fresh it is green right in the opening is very citrus top notes green tea bergamot mandarin citrus middle note petit grain neroli black currant base note is musk sandalwood and uris sandalwood here is a little bit dry it's not very potent from this i actually think that a musk and the uris is more potent in the base i haven't tried the original silver mountain water but this one is really good dozier did a good job blending this fragrance and i think that i don't need the original because this one is really good number seven is musky musk musky musk is inspired by juliet has a gun not a perfume the original juliet has a gun i do have the sample 2ml sample and they are spot on there's only two notes in this fragrance i think juliet has a gun has two this one has three. There's no top note. You can't smell anything on the opening. Uh, middle note is Cetalox, Iso E Super. Base note is Habanolide and Musk. So it's basically just musk. Some people can't smell this. I smell musk. If you want to know how musk smells like, this is a good perfume to learn about musk. I think that this is a very good layering fragrance. Whatever fragrance that you have with musk, this can amplify it. I spray this first and then layer it with the perfume that you want to amplify it is a good fragrance to have in your collection number eight is oriental sage oriental sage is inspired by tom ford effing fabulous literally it's effing <laughs> fabulous that's the name top notes is bitter almond sage lavender middle note is leather notes oris vanilla and base notes is amber blonde wood tonka bean yeah this is the barrier very unisex like one notch of this i can't use it anymore it's a good layering fragrance and tom ford they're all unisex it's very green i can smell the sage for sure and the oris is there from this list that is actually my least favorite my husband uses that next is the citrus neroli this is another inspired by tom ford neroli portofino neroli portofino it smells very aquatic i like clary this most of tom ford is really nice for layering this is very fresh like a cologne like a baby cologne it reminds me of my favorite baby cologne nenuko my mom loves nenuko i use nenuko when i was a baby i use nenuko for my babies and it smells like this tom ford neroli portofino top notes is neroli bergamot mandarin and lemon so it's citrus but not very citrus on the opening uh, middle nose is orange blossom jasmine and lavender and the base nose is musk and amber all right, my number 10. This might rock this video. I might get a lot of hate from this video because of this. <laughs> My number 10 is Fruity Oak Moss. This is inspired by Creed Adventus for Her. Okay, it's for her. Yes, I know. But y'all, this, this is unisex. Yes, it is unisex. A lot of women who likes beast mode fragrances, they use Adventus. Adventus for her. It's very citrus on top. Top notes is green apple, bergamot, lemon. Middle note is peach, rose, ilong, ilong. Base note is musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. Trust me, this is not feminine at all. You guys can use this. And it's delicious. Dossier did a good job with this one. I do have the Aventus for her. When I got this, I compared them side by side. They're not 100% spot on, but the dry down is really good it's like 95 percent spot on the five percent i can't detect <laughs> so i can't really detect the difference aventus for her creed is very nicely blended it's a masterpiece when it's a masterpiece nobody can dupe it honestly i don't have a big bottle of aventus for her i didn't buy it because this one is the same so i just like have this one instead yes so that's my number 10 i would put aventus for her higher maybe in my number three because i like it very 
much especially for summertime a ventus for her in heat it bounces off my skin really good so what i love about dossier is they're on sale right now so go check out their website they have big sale black friday sale number two you can return them if you don't like them, return it. Number three, they don't have that nasty chemical that other dupe companies does. Dossier, the quality is really good. You would not think it's a dupe. All of them are nicely blended. There's no nasty chemical. I am pretty amazed with Dossier. I'm so happy that they are working with me. I am happy working with Dossier. All right, guys, so this is it for my video. Let me know in the comment box below what you guys think. Let me know. I'm very curious. Let me know what you guys think about Unisex fragrances and also have you guys tried dossier what's your favorite dossier and what do you guys think please do not come after me if your nose is different than mine please let's all be respectful I don't lie in my channel let's just be kind all right guys so this is it for my video don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos I'll see you in my next video bye